Hey CactusCon, Alex here to introduce the next talk, Learning Offensive Security with Project V-Cubed, VulnHub, VirtualBox, and Vagrant, presented by Anthony Ratzakavich and James Green. Don't forget to stay tuned after the talk for a live Q&A by just clicking the link. And also, while you're at it, go buy some merchandise at cactuscon.threadless.com. Enjoy. Hey everybody, Anthony Radzikavich here, aka Red Hat August, and with me I have my good friend. James Green, the Fish 7. Alright, and what we're here today uh, to do is to introduce a project that we're working on. So let me just share my screen real fast. Boom, here it is. What we're calling it is we're calling it Project V Cubed, right? The reason is, is it's VulnHub with VirtualBox and Vagrant, okay? Where what we're doing is we're taking all of the machines that are on VulnHub.com, we're making them compatible with VirtualBox if they're not compatible, and we are um, creating Vagrant boxes and uploading it to the Vagrant cloud. The idea here is to help. Uh, you know, new entrants into this field or, you know, help people who want to learn, uh, you know, this industry of offensive security um, where they may not have a strong background in virtualization, system administration, uh, doing some of the things that I have to do to port it over to VirtualBox and who would rather use VirtualBox over VMware. Um, so to explain a little bit about the GitHub, it's uh, github.com, Red Hat August, VulnHub underscore Vagrant, right? Uh, I have an other directory, and this will hold uh, VMs that are outside of VulnHub because I don't want to limit this opportunity to just VulnHub. Uh, so if you're a uh, vulnerable machine developer and you did not upload your thing to VulnHub and you want to get in on this, just reach out to us, and I will be more than happy to incorporate you into this project as well. Uh, we have a setup scripts directory. Right now we have a PowerShell script you can run to help with the special DHCP um, server, you know, network. Uh, and then we have the VulnHub directory, which holds all of the VulnHub VMs that we have converted and made into virtual or into Vagrant boxes so far. Excuse me. And of course the README, right? That goes over like how to get, excuse me, how to get started. So. Um, what you need is you need uh, the minimum of these three applications installed. You need VirtualBox, you need VirtualBox Extension Pack, which is found on the same page as the download where you got VirtualBox, and you need Vagrant. I would recommend that you also have Git installed. And for my demo here, I do have Git installed. I'm going to show you how to use that in uh, a PowerShell command line. So uh, what we need to do before we get started with the actual hacking is, yes, we have to install all these applications, but then we have to set up a DHCP server, uh, a virtual one, with the network name Hey Marketers. I'm setting up all of the Vagrant machines that are being pulled into this network as an internal host. And again, I'm going to show you how to do all of this um, in real time, so you'll see how, uh, how it all functions, right? But you do need to have it literally Hey Marketers. And again, we do have a script here that will help you execute that. So um, with that being said, let me just go ahead and uh, show you how to get started here. So I have uh, PowerShell right here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just, uh, this is a secondary drive for me. I'm going to make the directory, uh, you know, I'll just call it v3. Why not? So I'm going to go into that directory. Uh, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm used to Linux. Um, and then I want to pull in the GitHub uh, repository, right? So I'm going to go git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com red hat august forward slash vuln hub underscore vagrant dot git. Not there we go. <laughs> and then it'll clone it all in, right? And so what you can see here is we have VulnHub Vagrant. So we're going to go into VulnHub Vagrant. And, uh, you know, we have exactly what I showed you on the web page, right? So if we go into setup scripts here, we have a readme that you can uh, look over on how to uh, use it. So. You know, it's automatically going to do everything for you. Uh, for me and, you know, 
uh, James, we were kind of concerned with if people have installations like me where they don't install v or VirtualBox on the primary drive, but maybe the secondary drive, this will automatically find it for you and run that command. So all you need to do is you need to do a PowerShell-EP uh, bypass v3 setup ps1 press enter it may take a few moments for this to actually work but the good news here is that you only have to do it one time right so unless you you removed this network you will only have to do this one time uh, to get set up to start working with the project so let's go ahead and uh well while this is running you know this will this will happen fairly quickly and you know Full disclosure, mine's already set up. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you VirtualBox. Another assumption that we have here is that, let me just change that, boom. Uh, another assumption that we have here is that you already have an attacker host, right? Whether you're using Kali or Parrot or you're trying to do this from Windows or whatever flavor you're using, you already have a VM that you're going to use uh, to try to learn this industry. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is we have that VM up, we have it running, we're going to right click and go into settings. And let me do a little bit of magic here really fast so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Yep, there you go, that's what I want. And then I'm just gonna drag that over here like this. Okay, perfect. And uh, you're gonna wanna click on network go into internal network, and then manually type H-A-Y-M-A-R-K-E-T-E-R-S for Hey Marketers. Click OK. And then you should be rocking and rolling with that. So let me uh, stop that here. Uh, that's all you have to do with your machine on that side, right? Now I'm going to go back to uh, the PowerShell screen. There we go. Uh, as you see, my DHCP server already exists. And if you're worried about running our script, I'm, I mean, of course, you can uh, look at it uh, and analyze it and see what it does. But otherwise, you see this right here. Just find out wherever, whatever path you put VirtualBox on. Run that command. It will set it up. You can even change the network IP uh, to be something else. We're calling this Elite Network because it's 10.13.37, right? So a little bit of tongue in cheek there. Um, but you know, you can change any other parameter except Hey Marketers must be Hey Marketers because that's what I have all the Vagrant boxes set up to do. Okay. So let me go here. Uh, now that we have the network created, we have our attacker host on that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go into the VulnHub directory. And as you can see, I have quite a few of them finished, right? I have 198 of the VulnHub machines completed, uploaded to Vagrant Cloud, and ready to go. Now, 198 machines is a lot to go through. So usually when people do this, they have a certain box in mind, right? So the trick here is you're going to run a dir if you're using Windows LS, if you're using uh, Linux, but a dir find string. And uh, the one that I want to look up is first blood. That's the one I'm going to showcase here, done by another another friend of mine. Uh, so we have uh, First Blood 1 in the directory 2020-09-19, right? Because it was released on September 19th. Uh, so I'm going to go CD 2020. Oh, I'm not going to do it that way. That's going to take forever. All right, here we go. <laughs> 9, 19, First Blood, right? So I change into this directory. And if you look in this directory as well, you will see there is a readme file for every single one. So let me go ahead and I will read that for you here. Uh, so you can get an idea of the... Uh, how I'm setting this up. I tell you exactly where I take it from, right? Uh, and then this information came directly from VulnHub. And then if I have any notes, I'm going to put it underneath the Vagrant box made by, and it's either going to be the Fish 7 or Red Hat August uh, who has done this, right? Uh, so again, this is a machine that my buddy Vincent made. And I'm going to do all I need to do at this point, because check it out, check it out. We have these two files. We have this thing called Vagrant file. All you need to do as an end user is run Vagrant up. Ready? 
and that's it, right? So if you look at VirtualBox while this is happening, see, here it goes, bringing it up, cannot find provider, that's perfectly fine, reaches out to the cloud, uh, but we only see one VM here right now. Okay, when this is finished, what it's going to do is it's going to grab that Vagrant box from Vagrant Cloud, pull it in, set it up with VirtualBox. It's going to make it headless so it's not going to pull out the VM. It's very easy to pull it out. And it will be on the Haymarketers network and you will be ready to go. So with this, I'm going to do some movie magic and, you know, speed up a little bit of the time. And boom, we are back. So uh, as you see, it downloaded the Vagrant box. And what you'll be seeing next is it's going to add it to VirtualBox, get, uh, get it set up per its configurations, and then power it on. While that's powering on, let me go ahead and power on my attacker host. Uh, so I just double click on my VM. So now it's uh, it's going to import that box. Like I said, it's going to get it in there. It's going to set it up. It's going to power it on. And then we should be rocking and rolling. So in my attacker host, let's let this uh, finish booting up. Great. So I'm going to type in my username and my password. Now here we go. So one of the first things that we'll want to verify is we're going to open up a terminal. We can uh, just open it here. Um, let me make this larger so you can actually see what I'm doing is uh, see what our IP address is, right? We should be on the Leet network. So as you can see, I'm on 10, 1, 3, 3, 7, and 5. So that is my machine that I'm running in this uh, network. And I'll go back to VirtualBox here. As you can see, First Blood is up and running, but it starts in a mode that's called headless, right? So what, what it means is when I double click on Bulky Roth, it actually pulled out that VM and I'm able to manipulate it. This one, it doesn't pull out that VM in another window. If you want to do it, it's very easy. You can double click on here and it will go ahead and do that for you. Otherwise, you can see a preview that it is running here. Now, since this is a GUI, it doesn't have the IP displayed, but on most of the machines, I did try to display the IP since um, they're all command line interface based, right? They're not GUI based. So with that being said, this is on the Haymarketers network. Um, and then don't worry about this second one. This is just because of the way the Vagrant works. Another thing to note that I kind of want to uh, set aside is Vagrant, by default, will try to SSH into the machine. This will not work, right? Because if you could just <laughs> you could SSH Vagrant, Vagrant, and all the machines, kind of defeat the purpose of um, hacking into the machines. Let that cancel out. Let that error out. It is perfectly fine. Not going to hurt anything. Not going to hurt your operations, etc. Um, but I just wanted to make you where, yes, if it SSHs and it just keeps trying and trying and trying, I know that's how it works. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Don't worry about it. So um, let's go ahead and do an nmap ping sweep real quick. 10, 13, 37, 0, forward slash 24. This is a class C network. Oh, what happened here? Hold up. Hold up. Not 136. What am I doing? There you go. And as we can see, we have a 117 in the network as well. So let's go ahead and I'm not sure why it's taking so long, but we can do the sudo nmap. Let's just do a basic one, right? And this is generally how I test 117. While that is happening, a lot of these machines are web servers. So let's go ahead and open up one of those or open up a browser, I mean, 10.13.37.117. And uh, sure as all get out, it says, welcome to First Blood. I can zoom that in and make it a little bigger for you. Uh, so this is a great beginner box put on by my friend. I am Vincent. Uh, I highly recommend it. I think it's super cool. He essentially is walking you through uh, how to tackle the machine. You may have to look a couple things up, but it, you know, you're not going to get into these crazy exploits that you don't know about. Perfect place to start. Okay, let's go back here. 
And as you can see, for the first uh, top 1,000 ports, port 80 is open. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and just get out, right? Because it's, it's for you to break into. Uh, let me go ahead. I will power this off just for the sake of. And I am back, and I see a uh, virtual box here. And again, uh, this the uh, PowerShell. OK, so um, I did a control C a bunch of times to get that SSH to stop because you know I'm not going to hack through the machine. If you were going to hack through the machine, this would definitely time out before you were finished. Uh, but I did a control C. Now, to avoid having all of these machines pile up, hold on a second, there we go. All these machines just pile up in a big list and just take over your hard drive in a massive way. Uh, Vagrant's really, really nice in this respect. If you want to stop it and you want to go back to it, just type Vagrant Halt. Um, and what that'll do is it will stop the machine for you, and then you can go back and you know shut down your computer, come back to it another day. Uh, however, when you do do that, make sure you go to the same directory that you were in before so that you can modify the same exact machine, the same exact box that you were, um, you were going through in the first place. So here we go. As you see, it powered off. And we have it, um, you know, it stopped here, right? So the other thing is say, I am done with this machine, and I don't want to save it at all. If you do a vagrant destroy, it will remove the box. It will remove it from your hard drive. It will no longer take up any space. Uh, anything that came with it will be gone, OK? And it will ask, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, you do. And if you want to do it again, you just run another Vagrant up within the same exact directory. It's not, you know, it's not like you can't start over. But Vagrant Destroy, you see it's gone from the list. It will no longer take up hard drive space. So you can go into the directory, choose which one you want, go to that directory, and um, then type Vagrant up. It will automatically download everything for you, set everything up. You get in there. You go through the exercise, hack into the box, get your trophy, uh, get out, do a Vagrant Destroy, and it's as though it was never there. But you gain the knowledge in a very easy way with just a few commands. Uh, with that, you know, really, that's what we wanted to show and showcase. Again, we're calling this Project V Cube. Uh, we will be available for um, feedback, conversation. Uh, just hit me up on Twitter at Red Hat August or at the Fish Seven on Twitter as well. Yeah, that's Fish as in F E E S H. All right. So thank you so much for uh, attending. You know our talk here listening to us prattle on, seeing what we're doing. And I hope this gains as much interest as we have, and it can bring a lot more new entrants into our uh, field, into our interest uh, as a community. So thank you very much.